Alright, hello. So I had a. I'm pretty much doing this for a friend. They want to help with Python. Just getting it alive at least. And. So this is what it is. How oh, I'm no expert in Python at all. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know. I kind of understand some of this, but anyway, I'm going to explain it. So I. Of course, man, new bot, like you're supposed to. Got to import Discord. OS is just to get um, environmental variables, wherever is that in this right here. That's where it's from to get our token from there. Because you always want to keep those safe. But other than that, I am using Repel because this is how you get a free running 24 7 bot now you could use a database in here which i don't i don't i like virtual zoo better but yeah now you made a new client get a client event we get the on ready event for this client i'm guessing and we just print this to the screen client will go into zero because of this I guess. <laughs> Again, I don't know anything about Python. Let me do another client event. This one's on a message, so any message sent in Discord will bring in a variable message. So if message author equals client.user, which is the bot, it will just return, won't do anything. But if our message.com is start with a money sign hello, then we just wait. For that message to be sent hello then of course that now to keep the bot alive just simply go here you make a new file keep alive py you import flask you import thread flask will be the web server that we'll use app we go flask in this i guess app that route I don't know why they have this, but again, you probably know a lot more Python than me. And then we make a home, just right here. It'll just print, hello, I am alive. That's what it will return, right here. Then when you run it, it will run at this host, with that port. And then our keep alive function, I'm going to call it. Make a thread on a new, I'm, I'm guessing a new website. And then it will start the server. Alright, and then you go back to main.py, go over right here from keep alive, import, keep alive. So that imports that. And then at the bottom here, before we run client, we, we uh, just call that keep alive function or whatever. And now, when you run it, you will see this. This will come up, this beautiful little screen here. And now, in order to actually do this, we go into here. Let me make sure this is scenes recording. All right, yeah, should be. Anyway, you go here. After you make a new account, you go to add new monitor. You go in here, click this friendly name that can be anything you want URL you go here take this URL that you want to ping every five or so minutes and go put it here now a server like this will only last for one hour but as soon as you close this pay this this tab this here shuts off so that is why we're doing it five minutes. As far as I know, it automatically shuts off, and that's a bad thing. So we're doing ping every five minutes, unless this actually stays up an hour. But anyway, just to be safe, every five minutes is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's just to any lower you go, you're just really pinging it so much to make sure it's alive but honestly five minutes is perfect more than enough it's just a default anything else you don't got anything else you need to worry about this is my email
You can always message me there if you ever want to, or in Discord. Anyway, or Cray Monitor. Cray Monitor with no alert. Yep, Cray Monitor. And there. Close that. And that'll be it. That's pretty much all you do. This will just start going. Now, of course, you can pause it, delete it, and all that, but you don't want to do anything. So now, one way to test if this really did work. We'll close that. And then we'll keep that up. Now, if we go to back to repel, and log in, Discord bots, and see that? It's, it's on. It's already on. It hasn't been turned off or anything because this here is pinging it. And there, that's how you keep your bot alive. Now, you can always check if it's alive when you go to Discord, but I'm sure you can just test it, just wait an hour or so and just look at it. That's what I would do. But I already know this works. I've done it with a bot of mine already. But yeah, this is how you do it. So, see ya.